she looks small he looks different many a times we have came across with such kind of children who are looking different whose height and build and structure are totally different from the normal population but we really don't know what to do we are curious how to have approach to such kind of children so in this series we are going to learn a very important anthropometric parameter that is arm span to height along with that we are going to learn three important condition that is marfan homocystinuria as well as kleinfelter syndrome do not skip anything watch till end it's going to have lots of mnemonic and shortcuts let's start learning i am dr triya virani malde pediatrician and consultant neonatologist and i'll be your guide for pediatric subject if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and give like to this video because lot is going to happen on this channel for pediatric and foremost question is what is arm span so what is arm span when the upper limbs are stretch as you can see in this picture the girl is standing facing the wall or any kind of board and the arms are stretch right angle to the body and we have to take a measure a distance between a two middle fingers it should be out stretch the child should be standing still and this measurement has to be taken behind from the child it is called arm span after taking arm span we all know that we need to take height of the child if the child is more than 2 years of age we need to use a stadiometer or a measuring rod and uh, the child has to stand still upright heels should be separated and weight should be borne equally on both the feet as well as the heel buttocks and shoulder blade should be in one alignment and the back of the head is brought in contact with the stadiometer after that we need to make sure that there is a maintenance of the frankfurt plane if you need to if you want to learn it in detail what is frankfurt plane and what is the ideal way of taking a height then i do insist please go through the series growth 2 the link is in the description box as well as there is i button and after that the head piece is firmly uh, place on the head to press the hair and then the measurement is taken so now we have arm span as well as height so what is normal arm span at birth we all know that the trunks are small so arm span is uh, lower than the length by 2.5 cm but more or less as the child grows it become equal to the height at any point of time arm span is always equal to the height so when we call it arm span more than height when there is a difference of more than 1 cm say 1 cm we call that the arm span is greater than the height and whenever we are having such kind of the abnormal finding we need to have a three important condition in our mind one is marfan syndrome another is homocystinuria and third is kleinfelter syndrome if you see the marfan syndrome it is autosomal dominant condition and there is a mutation in gene fbn1 while homocystinuria is autosomal recessive condition here there is a issue with the metabolism the of amino acid methionine while kleinfelter syndrome is having one extra copy of x in the chromosomal constitute and it is a chromosomal issue so what is marfan do not get confused the mnemonic is marfan itself m stands for mitral valve prolapse a stands for aortic aneurysm R stands for retinal detachment. F stands for fibrinal defect. A stands for arachnodactyly. Arachnodactyly is a long, slender fingers like spiders. So it is called arachnodactyly. Negative nitroprusitase. This is very important. Whenever we are having any patient or any child whose arm span is bigger than the height, then the this test will differentiate Marfan syndrome from. homocysteine urea because in a homocysteine urea the urine test which is carried out will have a positive report it will turn red while here it will be of same color and s stands for subluxation of the lens what else we need to remember whenever we are having a marfan in our mind as we already know it is autosomal dominant there is a mutation in the gene fbn1 tall and slender build disproportionately long arms and legs and fingers 
abnormally curved smile breastbone protrude outward or dips inward there could be a deformity of chest there as you can see in this picture presence of heart mur mur murmur and extreme near sightedness so these are all important findings we need to remember whenever we are having suspicion of marfan syndrome in our mind now the second important condition is homocysteinuria as we already know it is autosomal recessive there is issue with the uh, methionin to homocysteine transfer it affect the metabolism of the amino acid methionin amino acid methionin and there will be a issue with this many organs particularly brain will have a stroke bones will have a fracture blood vessels will have a thromboembolic phenomenon and in eyes there is a subluxation of the lens so there will be a effect on three major systems skeletal central nervous system and cardiovascular system in a skeletal we know the build will be marfanoid there will be osteopenia and there will be a more of a fracture while in a nervous system the patient could have or child could have a dystonia convulsion mental retardation because of because because of uh, involvement of the cns in case of the cardiovascular system there will be a stroke so now the last condition it is a klein felter syndrome we have to remember from head to toe they are tall in structure and they have a less muscular body Le uh, they have a less facial and uh, body hair post puberty there is a presence of gynecomastia increased belly fat the bones are weak and they are born with the small penis three important thing will be on the lower side and those are low iq low energy level and low muscle tone so these are the few things we need to remember when we are having a tall stature and we are having a doubt of a klein felter syndrome now when it could be a lesser than the height it could be a part of short limb dwarfism or it could be a part of precocious puberty now many a times you get confused between a klein felter and turner syndrome very easy to remember see the word turner turner is a shorter word klein felter is a longer word so in a turner we have a short height only one x and it is female because anatomically girls are having a low mean height and weight than boys so turner is a short word and these are the few things to remember while klein felter is a bigger word so we have a trip double x y and there is a tall height and it is seen in a male so this is the way you can have a remembrance of the down versus klein felter now question number 1 again it's a trivia time here also i have combined question with the answer because there were not much questions from this part of the series so first question is which of the following is not a feature of marfan syndrome your options are arm span more than a height arachnodactyly upper segment to lower segment ratio more than 1 or it is d high arch palate now what is a, a correct answer it's a basically a uh, answer of exclusion so first of all we should know what is a per segment to lower segment ratio if you have not gone through that part i do insist first go through that part the link is in the description box as well as there is i button so correct answer is first of all it's not a feature so we have to remove wrong statement from the answers so upper segment to lower segment ratio more than one what will happen here extremities are too long see extremities are too long so head to pubic symphysis is shorter than the upper part so upper segment lower segment ratio will not be on the higher side so question number 2 is marfan syndrome inheritance is by is it autosomal dominant b autosomal recessive c x link recessive or it is d x link dominant so correct answer is we all know it is autosomal dominant while homocysteinuria is autosomal recessive question number 3 inferior subluxation of the lens is seen in which of the following condition is it ocular trauma b marfan syndrome c homocysteinuria or it is a hypothyroidism we'll discuss first the answer and then we'll go for the explanation so correct answer is option b now we'll understand why this is a marfan syndrome so very easy to remember fan is always up, upward so in marfan fan is there so location is always superior while urine always goes down 
so in homocyst in urea it is inferior dislocation it is very easy to remember do not get confused between the subluxation of the lens in these two conditions the question number 4 is which of now is not the symptoms of Klinefelter syndrome your options are a undersized penis b gynecomastia c higher iq or it is d poor muscle tone the correct answer is higher iq for that you need to remember that figure if you are still confused go back and then uh, once you listen to it and have a sight of that slide question number five Klinefelter syndrome is caused by double xy xo xyy or it is yo to avoid the confusion we have already discussed the explanation in the previous slides so correct answer is option number a double x y so uh, that conclude our uh, arm span to height ratio wasn't it easy yes it was super easy and now it will not be confusing for you that how to take arm span to height ratio as well as when to be taken so please let me know what else you would like to learn from me your feedback and suggestions are always welcome for the improvement till that time take care of yourself study hard study smart goodbye